Hey guys, it's Ken from Quadcopter.us. Um, just another open box review today. Um, I ordered one of those 900 megahertz, 200 watt milli or 200 milliwatt uh, FPV systems on Hobby King. It's the one with the camera and everything. Um, 69 bucks, but if you're like a platinum member or whatever they do, they give you that that discount. It came out to like 40. Uh, 65 or 64 or something like that. Um, I opted for the UPS insur insured uh, shipping. Um, it was 34 bucks or something like that, three days. And although I ordered it on Tuesday or on Monday, I ordered it Monday, but it didn't actually ship until uh, the third day. So really it was a six day to get it. So I actually got it today. So from Monday to Monday, total about seven days. But the shipping time, once they dropped it off at UPS, um, it actually only took three days. So Thursday, Friday, and then Monday it came here. So that's pretty quick. Um, the regular mail was 17, 17 bucks. So I figured, well, another 17 bucks. I won't have to wait three weeks, you know. And um, I didn't want to do that. So I went with the system only because it's cheap. And I saw some other reviews like Flight Test or whoever else. Um, they did some. They, they said some pretty good things about it, especially the camera. Um, even though it doesn't have audio, they said that the camera was pretty decent. Um, except for the lens, but I'm not sure if it's this exact system or a different system they have that's similar, but they said the lens was plastic and it was crap, but um, I don't know, so we're gonna find out, but um, there is an upgrade lens that you can buy for it, and you just pop it on, screw it on, so um, we'll go ahead and open it up. So actually, it comes in a nice box, unlike uh, some of the other stuff you get, it's just in a bag or whatever, you know. So here's the receiver. Just a regular 12 uh, channel receiver. It's got a digital, it says digital display 12 channel receiver. It's got your buttons. 12 volt DC in to power it, video and your audio out. But there's no audio for this camera, but if you have another camera or whatever, you can use that. So that's the receiver, just a basic, uh, you know, receiver. So next is the TX. There's your. It's a, just a basic receiver, like 200 milliwatt, like we said, and uh, it's a four channel, and it's set up on one right now, or I'd have to see what the codes mean. It's one down, three up. One down, and two, three, four is up, so I'd have to check it, but I think uh, from what I gather, zero is the U.S. channel, so... Um, but that's, uh, that's the receiver itself, and they say don't power it up until you've got your antenna because the antenna acts as a transistor or something like that on the on the whole system so um, don't plug it in next just keep unfolding this is one thing I don't like they just they just put the camera in there like this so, when, so it was bouncing around when I was getting shipped you know <laughs> it's kind of crappy um, it's the back of the camera it's got a blue PCB sort. The quality looks really good, um, and it's not a real thin, thin PCB. The um, camera has a little cover on it. Uh, it doesn't look plastic, but then again, I mean, who knows? Maybe it was a different camera they were talking about, but we'll we'll test it out anyways and find that out. But that's the camera came with it. There were also some reports that the the positive and the negative were reversed on the plug on the uh, on the actual plug in here so when you plug it in it burned up the camera and uh, I'm gonna make sure I check that before I do anything else so that's the camera that there now there's two antennas here some bigger antennas I don't know the specs of the antennas offhand so I don't even know if they're on there but uh, they're larger than your standard ones so it's only a 200 milliwatt system, so it's, you know you're going to get basic stuff here. RCA cables, video, audio, but of course there's no audio on this camera. So, and then this is what they say is really important for FPV. You don't have to make up your own wiring harness for it, because um, the receiver and plug just plug right in. But you got to make sure that these wires match up. The yellow, white Hi. video, the red and the black. Uh, he's outside. The uh, red and the black line up here. And then it's got your plug for your battery, and then of course your camera, camera end. 
So okay. if you look on the camera, you can see they had to switch something on there. So I wonder if that was the switch. It's got the black and the red switch. So that's the camera there, and it also comes with a another plug here that to wire up your own to use the audio, I believe, if you have another camera that has audio. So there's four wires on this one, they all match up. Yellow, red, white, and black, so. Yeah, so. But that's it. The quality all looks good. Um, I can't wait to try it out. Um, just This is a basic system that we wanted to test out. Um, you know, and I've saw some good reviews. Some There's a thread in RC Groups. I'll put a link in the description to uh, Hobby King store. Um, but uh, I think it's worth it. I think this is a, a very good value buy for 65 bucks. You know, you could set up a short range uh, system. And the only problem with this system is um, you can't you can't plug it up to Fat Shark natively. You have to buy an adapter cable, and uh, kind of it's like in a U US uh, an RCA type setup where it's got some plugs and adapters and what it does it bypasses the uh, the receiver on the on the fat shark goggles so um, without that cable I think it's for the dominator it's a dominator fat shark dominator replacement cable that you would need and without that you can only hook it up to a TV monitors so um, you know that's what you want to do for uh, if you want to get on goggles right away you're gonna to have to get that cable otherwise just hook up to the TV some guys say learning on a, on a TV is harder to jump in there, but I don't know. I kind of like the goggles because you don't get sidetracked or, you know, any of the outside of the screen. You don't get bothered by, uh, you know, distractions. So, But that's it, guys. This is the Hobby King uh, 900 megahertz, 200 milliwatt uh, FPV system from HobbyKing.com. The link will be below. Thanks for watching, guys.